In this video, we're going to take a look at how to add video to Google Sites. There are two ways that we can add video. The first way is by adding video through YouTube. The second way is by uploading video to our Google Drive and then sharing the video appropriately and putting it into our Google Sites. So we're going to do both. Um, the first one we're going to do is the YouTube video and the second one is the uh, video through Google Drive. So to get started, we need to, of course, go into edit page. And we need to put our cursor where we want the video. So I want my video underneath my slideshow. If your slideshow goes all the way out to the edge, you can put your cursor right on the edge of it. And I can tell up here that it's blinking. Uh, so it's, it's there. Uh, and then I just push enter. So I'm going to put a little bit of space. And I'm going to call this my favorite videos. And I want it to be the same font as the more about me over here. More about me I can see is Georgia 18. So let's do that here. We're going to do Georgia 18 point font. And I'm going to center this. Okay. So for my YouTube video, I am going to use one of my favorite YouTube videos. It's a, it's a little bit older, um, but I think it's just a great story. Um, there is an initiative called the One Laptop Per Child Initiative and OLPC Foundation. That's One Laptop Per Child. And they do um, this is Zimi. Uh, they do a video talking about Zimi's story. So I'll play just a little bit at the beginning. If you want to go see the full thing, uh, look up One Laptop Per Child Zimi Story full on YouTube. My name is Zimi. I'm seven years old. I come from a place you never heard of, a country you cannot pronounce, a continent you'd rather forget. And this goes on to show how having access to a laptop um, is changing uh, Zimi's life, but also um, his community. Uh, it's a great video, like I said. So the first way we're going to insert video is via, uh, via YouTube link. So I'm going to click the URL, the Uniform Resource Locator, and I'm going to do Control C to copy. You can also, of course, right click and copy either way. And then uh, with my cursor blinking where I want the video and in edit mode okay so the editor I've already clicked up here in the top right I'm going to choose insert video now I have three options I have Google video YouTube and Google Docs video uh, Google video is uh, Google's older video hosting site Google now owns YouTube so uh, YouTube is obviously um, what we're going to use uh, for this so I'm going to choose YouTube and it asks me to paste the URL of the YouTube video. So I'm going to do control V to paste, or you can right click and choose paste. And I have um, a couple options. I can include a border around the YouTube video and include a title. I don't want this to be called a uh, YouTube video. I want this to be called uh, Zimi's story. Okay. And just choose save. And notice, similar to the Google Slideshow, I have options. I can align it to the left, center, or right. I'm going to center. If I had text around this video, similar to the way I have this picture up here, I could align the text or wrap the text around the video. Uh, that would be a cool feature if you were to do another site, like a business site or something, to include video with text around it. Um, and then, of course, I can delete it. And then if I choose properties, I go back to the two um, checkboxes I had earlier. Okay, so I'm going to choose save. And there is the video. Now, if you are doing uh, the digital portfolio series for digital portfolios, I am going to encourage you to put a description underneath about what this video is and why you chose this video. Um, so I'll just put you know, a brief description of what the video is and why you chose it. For example, there may be a video of you, on YouTube of you um, playing soccer. 
and you put this video here, but if you don't put a description underneath it, then as the viewer of your digital portfolio, I don't know that that's you playing soccer. Okay, it might be a good idea to say, hey, that's me, I'm number 12 or whatever it is, uh, and tell us a little bit about it. This was my tournament game. Uh, we won, the final score was something like that. Uh, I'm gonna change this font back to the default, which is normal 12 point. So let me change that really quickly. Okay, and the next way we're gonna put the video in is via by way of Google Drive. Uh, Google Drive is the storage solution for um, Google. It used to be called Google Docs, and we still say Google Docs to refer to Google um, like document presentation spreadsheet, uh, but we can also put pictures and video in Google Drive now too. So uh, we're gonna do that the second way. So if you remember, I chose insert video and notice it says Google Docs video. So let's do Google Docs video. And it says, hey, you already have a video here, which you know I'd uploaded previously. So I'm gonna choose that one and choose select. Now notice over here on the left, it has Google Docs and it has the different types of files that we can have in Google Docs. Obviously this is a video file. Um, so that's obviously what it's picking up to put into the Google site. So I'm gonna choose select. And I get similar options. I get the options for a border. Also get um, the options for title. I'll just call this one wildlife. I don't need the file extension on the end of it. And I also get options for width and height and pixels. I don't want to mess with that right now. Um, but if you did want to go experiment with it to see um, how you can make the video look different, you could change the width and the height and pixels. Choose save. And then I'm going to center this one as well. Okay, so let's talk about this video because there's a couple things we need to discuss. One, how did I get it in Google Drive? And then two, how do we share it so that similar to the port, um, sorry, the picture slideshow, people can actually see it instead of just me, okay? A lot of times um, I get students who turn in portfolios or, or parts of portfolios and they see it just fine, but I can't see it because whatever it is, they didn't share it with me. So if it's pictures, you know, in Google Plus, it needs to be shared. And if it's video from Google Drive or Google Docs, it needs to be shared appropriately too. So let me go through and show you how to do that. So I'm gonna edit the page and delete the video. Uh, kind of take us back a step and go into Emily Grace's Google Drive. To get to that, uh, we have these options up here at the top. I'm just logged into our Gmail now. Here's Drive, used to say Documents, now it says Drive. And here's my wildlife movie. I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna choose More and then I'm gonna choose Remove. Okay, and it goes into my trash. Now, if you accidentally delete something, um, you've got more options here and there's your trash and there it is in my trash. So if you accidentally delete something, definitely go in trash and look for it. But let's upload the video um, so that you know how to do that. So in Google Drive, I have the option to create something new uh, and they are allowing apps to be connected now, uh, which is really cool if you get um, like Chrome apps or Chrome extensions, um, it's fun to play with those. Uh, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I need to go ahead and click upload. And when I choose upload, I have to choose um, I have options for files or folder. We don't want a whole folder of things uploaded right now. We just want one video. So that would be file. And I'm going to go to my videos and my sample video. This wildlife video, it was just the default sample video that came with Windows 7, which is my operating system that I use on my computer. I don't encourage you to use the sample video in your portfolio by any means. Um, videos that you should use include videos of your work. It could be you presenting something. It could be you playing a sport. It could be a video of your gymnastics practice or a dance recital or you reciting a poem or singing or something like that. If you are really good um, at technology and, and you have created video that you've edited, then it's fine instead of being in front of the camera to use a video that you um, created behind the camera. So that's another option too. 
but the videos that you choose should reflect you. A lot of times students just want to put in kind of silly, funny videos they found on YouTube and you know, although they might be very cute and they might be funny, it's really not the appropriate place in your digital portfolio for them. Um, what I tell students who tell me they don't have any video, you know, they can't get one, um, you know, in, a near, in the near future, is to find a video that's really inspirational to them and to tell me why they chose that video. So, uh, for example, the one laptop per child video um, I found to be very moving and inspirational, and I think it's a great cause. So, in my description underneath the video, I could write a description supporting why I chose that video. So, I can't do that really for the wildlife video because it's just an example. I don't really have any reason to have it in my digital portfolio, but I'm just showing you how, how to do this um, as an example. So I'm going to choose wildlife and choose open. And notice down here it is uploading uh, slowly but surely. Uh, conversion is off. Um, just kind of something with Google Docs kind of going off while that video is uploading is you can uh, convert uploaded files to Google Docs format. Okay, so let's say you upload a Microsoft Word document. You can choose this to convert it to um, a Microsoft Word format. I'm sorry, a Google Docs format. Uh, if you are uploading a PDF, it's a different type of file, uh, you can convert that. And I had unchecked confirm settings before each upload, but I actually kind of like having that checked uh, just because there may be times when I really don't care if it converts to Google Doc or not. Um, but it's just nice to have that option. So we're going to wait just a second and let our video completely upload. So our video is almost completely uploaded. Um, I just want to say that while you're waiting for that to upload, it would be a really good idea to proofread what you have so far and make any changes or additions as needed. All right, where am I going here? My drive. Okay. So it is uploaded and now I have the option to share it. So right now only I can see it, which is not good uh, for others who are trying to see my portfolio. So the sharing settings, um, we have private, only the people below can access and that would be just Emily Grace. Uh, I'm gonna change that to anyone with the link and I encourage you to do the same. So anyone with the link can access. And right now I have them at can view. You can choose comment or edit. But we're going to leave this um, at can view. And that makes the most sense for the video file format anyway. I'm going to choose save. Now, if you want to add people, like let's say you chose it to be private, uh, you can come in here and add like your teacher's names, your parents' names. And I would put them at can view also and add a message. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click share and save. Whoops. Okay, it wants me to add someone um, because I chose to add someone. Okay, now I'm going to click done. Now, let's say you X out of that box before you had a chance to share it. Uh, you can come here, select the video, and then under more, share, share, and now you can um, change it again. Okay, so make sure that video is shared. So right now it's in Google Drive and it is shared appropriately. So we are ready for it. Back on the portfolio, I'm going to edit page and come underneath my YouTube video and choose insert video and you guessed it, Google Docs video. And there it is, choose select. And I'm just gonna call this one wildlife save and center and just like we did before I do want to do a brief description so let me just copy and paste this under here um, again this is completely necessary so we know why you chose this video and if you're in the video we need to look for you and we understand why this video is important to you all right let me choose save and now I've got my videos loaded Thanks for watching.